ever pondered over what white blood cells do in our bodies? These cells, also known as leukocytes or WBCs, are our body's defense force ready to combat any foreign invaders. They're the largest blood cells we have, but they're also the fewest in number, with typically only 4,000 to 11,000 per cubic microliter of blood. White blood cells are polymorphic, meaning they have different structures and types. And when we dive a bit deeper, we find that they can be categorized into two main groups, granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes, with their multi-lobed nuclei and cytoplasmic granules, are like the foot soldiers in our body's immune system. On the other hand, agranulocytes, characterized by a single large nucleus and a cytoplasm lacking granules, play a more strategic role in our immune response. So, white blood cells are the superheroes of our body, always ready to defend us. Let's start our journey with granulocytes, the first group of white blood cells. These fascinating cells are characterized by their multi-lobed nuclei and cytoplasmic granules. Within this group, we find three unique types, eosinophils, basophils, and neutrophils. Eosinophils, these circular granulocytes, have bilobed nuclei of roughly equal size. They have an affinity for acidic red dye, which gives them their unique red or pink hue. Though they only make up about 1-6% to of total white blood cells, they play a crucial role in defending against parasitic infections and inducing inflammation. Then we have basophils, another type of circular granulocyte. Their bilobed nuclei are of distinctly different sizes and they stain blue or bluish purple due to absorption of the basic methylene blue dye. They are the least abundant white blood cells, making up less than 1% of the total. However, their role as mediators of inflammation and allergic reactions and destroyers of allergens is vital. Finally, we come to neutrophils. These are the smallest but most abundant white blood cells with multi-lobed nuclei that can have up to six lobes. They take up both acidic and basic dyes, staining as a purple color. Covering about 40 to 75% of total white blood cells, their primary function is to provide defense against bacteria. Despite their different structures and roles, all three types of granulocytes work together to protect our bodies. Our journey continues with agranulocytes, the second group of white blood cells. These are characterized by a single large nucleus and a cytoplasm that is devoid of granules. Within this group, we find two key players, monocytes and lymphocytes. Let's start with monocytes, the largest of all white blood cells. Their single round nucleus, which takes on a purple or bluish hue when stained, is a distinctive feature. Representing between 2 to 10% of total white blood cells, monocytes are quite the force to be reckoned with. They come in two varieties, motile monocytes known as phagocytes that circulate in our bloodstream and the mostly stationary monocytes in tissue known as macrophages. Their role, defending against microbial infections, regulating inflammation and activating T lymphocytes. Next, we have lymphocytes, the second most abundant type of white blood cells. They stand out with their large kidney-shaped nucleus and make up a whopping 20 to 50% of total white blood cells. Lymphocytes can be further divided into T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. Their job is quite remarkable. They remember infections and antigens and produce specific antibodies to fight against them. So, while monocytes and lymphocytes may look different, they share a common goal, to safeguard our bodies. Together, they form an intricate defense system ready to protect us from harmful invaders at a moment's notice. Monocytes and lymphocytes may look different, but they share a common goal to safeguard our bodies. What an incredible journey through the world of white blood cells! We've discovered that these colorless nucleated defenders, though few in number, play a crucial role in our body's immune response. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes, each with a unique function. We delved into the world of granulocytes, including eosinophils, basophils, and neutrophils, each distinguished by their multi-lobed nuclei and granular cytoplasm. 
from defending against parasitic infections and inducing inflammation, to mediating allergic reactions and battling bacteria, their roles are as diverse as they are vital. Then we explored the realm of agranulocytes, the monocytes and lymphocytes. These cells lacking granules but characterized by a large single nucleus play a significant part in defending against microbial infections and producing specific antibodies to combat infection. Remember, these cells are the unsung heroes, tirelessly working to protect your body, so next time you think of superheroes, don't forget these microscopic warriors.